a travel guide for visiting Ayutthaya in Thailand. I'm Chris, this is Topher, this is Yellow Productions. We do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining. Ayutthaya is one of the most popular day trips from Bangkok, so we're going to tell you in this video everything you need to know if you're considering visiting Ayutthaya. So first let's talk about why you come here. Well, you will probably know Thailand has a lot of temples, and you come here to visit temples, but not like operating temples. You come here to visit relics of temples. Ayutthaya used to be a capital of uh, Siam hundreds of years ago. The temples have all pretty much been sacked and are ransacked and so there's six main temples that are part of the Ayutthaya Historical Park uh, but I'll show you some of the major attractions and the sites to see and why you come to see these temples and talk about how to get here, things to do, maybe even what to eat for lunch. All right, here we go. There are six major temples in the Ayutthaya Historic Park. Admission to each temple is 50 baht, but you can buy a combination six temple ticket for 220 baht. One of the coolest relics in Ayutthaya is at the Wat Pra Mahatat Temple. By the way, I'm sure my Thai not so good. You don't need to let me know, I already know. But why is this one so cool? Well, it's got this relic of a sandstone Buddha. The head came off of it and it's grown around this tree. No, the tree has grown around the Buddha. And to take pictures with it, you're supposed to sit so that um, you are lower than the Buddha's head. They don't let you take pictures if you're standing. You have to be seated, which is why I'm seated doing this video. That's pretty cool to think that that Buddha's head just fell like that to be there. And here's all the people that are taking their pictures. Exploring the relics of the temples in Ayutthaya, you'll come across many headless Buddhas, many damaged Buddhas. You'll never see Buddhas like this in actual operating temples in Thailand because the Thais feel that broken Buddhas are bad luck. They bring bad luck. But they're here because this is the ancient relic and this is the history that invaders to Siam at the time um, cut these open because they thought there might have been gold inside. It turns out not so much and so that's why this is what's left of them here. Visiting the temples in Ayutthaya, there's lots of Buddhas. Sitting Buddhas, standing Buddhas. This one's a reclining Buddha. When you're coming to Ayutthaya, make sure to bring some comfy shoes because you'll be doing a lot of stair climbing. Topher and I have climbed a lot of stairs. We like to race and see who can make it to the top first. Is it gonna be Topher? Is it gonna be me? It's Topher for the win! To go in most temples in Thailand, you need to take off your shoes. Ayutthaya is no different, but it's not just your shoes at the entrance to the temple. I mean, it's to your shoes to even go up the staircase. Bring some shoes that you remember what they look like because, well, you can see there's a lot of them here. And you really want socks because if you don't have socks, your feet are going to get really hot going up that staircase. All right, see you at the top. And what's at the top? Well. It's this. And what's inside of this? It's a place to drop your coins and there's a bucket at the bottom. Almost. But uh, you drop your money to make a wish or perhaps a good offering. You know, walking around Ayutthaya, I've realized I've never been to Italy to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I think this is the Leaning Tower of Thailand. Actually, a lot of these towers lean. You can look over there. Those ones are leaning too. If you do come to Ayutthaya, make sure not to climb on top of these things. It's A, to protect the ruins, but B, to protect you because I'm not sure when that's gonna fall over. If you're going to Bangkok, chances are you'll be visiting the Royal Palace. Well, this one here, this is the ancient Royal Palace. If you're curious what they looked like when they were new, well, here's an artist's rendering of what it looked like when it was fully built out, it looked kind of like this. These ruins require maintenance. You can see some of the workers here taking out the weeds from the ruins. It's so humid that yes, weeds grow up there. Just of note, no food or drinks in the temples. It's punishingly hot here. Outside, you'll find a lot of vendors that'll serve drinks and snacks. You can get a cool, refreshing, slightly warm coconut. It is cold and ice in a lot of these places are, which makes it not completely hot, but the coconut juice is often about room temperature inside the coconuts. It takes a long time to cool all the way through. You should just know that if you're buying coconuts. If you want something cold and you're guaranteed of it, then get a smoothie. A neat place for lunch, it's called the Bon One Love Ayutthaya Guest House. It's a hotel and a restaurant combined together. They have these set meals. This is set meal number two, a thousand baht. A lot of food. This will feed two to four people. Drinks, ties, tea. I love. Mm. This thing.
Now we're going to talk about getting to Ayutthaya. Most people visit Ayutthaya as a day trip from Bangkok, so we'll talk about getting to Ayutthaya from Bangkok. Ayutthaya is approximately 80 kilometers to the north of Bangkok, and you've got a few different options for getting there. First option, you can take a train. The trains leave from Hua Lam Phong Station in Bangkok City Center. They leave approximately every hour. The trains take two hours. If you want to go in first class, they cost 330 baht, which is about 10 bucks, or you can travel third class for around 20 baht, that's about 50 cents. You can also take a bus, it takes 90 minutes from Mo Chit Station, they leave approximately twice an hour, it costs about 50 Thai baht or two US dollars. Beware though, buses in Thailand are often not air conditioned. Okay, so now for what I think is the best way to get to Ayutthaya, simply hire a car and a driver, that's what we did. From the city center of Bangkok to Ayutthaya via private car will take one hour, a much better option. And if you do this, this, the car is probably air conditioned. It cost us 5,500 Thai baht with a company called Oriental Escape. The driver drove us to Ayutthaya, took us around, and brought us back to our hotel, all for that price, which works out to be about 180 US dollars. If you divide that amongst the three of us in the car, that was $60 each for transport all day. And it was also really nice when we were walking around Ayutthaya to come back to an air conditioned car to go to the other attractions. If you didn't get a car to take you to Ayutthaya and you've taken public transportation, you'll need to get around because it's really big. And a fun way to get around is to take a tuk-tuk. Don't take the blue one get the yellow tuk-tuk. You can typically negotiate a day rate and the tuk-tuk driver will take you to all the neat temples here. And it's a lot better to ride them here in uh, Ayutthaya than in Bangkok. Bangkok really busy, but here the streets aren't as busy. So tuk-tuk, you're not sucking the exhaust fumes quite as much. A lot of the guidebooks will tell you to rent a bicycle. Everything's close around so you can park bicycles. And there will be a lot of bicycle parking at the temple, but let me tell you, on a hot day like today, I enjoy the air conditioning of a car. And all the bikes, they're pretty big. And Topher, his legs are really short, probably isn't able to pedal on those bicycles. In Ayutthaya, you can also feed the elephants. 50 baht, so let's get a basket. This is on the honor system. 50 baht right here. Let's put it in this nice shiny metal box and let's pick up a basket of delicious looking cucumbers. Looks pretty tasty, doesn't it? All right, follow me. Let's go feed some elephants. The elephants are just back here and uh, maybe later we'll snack on a durian. Maybe not right now. So we're at the elephants. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's like six elephants. Let's feed the first one. He looks the hungriest, but I probably shouldn't like take my basket too close to him. He looks sneaky. He'll get the whole thing. Here we go. Look at that. All right. Careful not to get any elephant slobber on me. Whoop. Okay. Okay, let's go feed some of those other elephants over there. Okay, let's feed some of these elephants. We don't want one to get all the food. So here we go. Ooh. Should we try some of those over there? Let's try some of those over there. This guy looks hungry. It's amazing how forceful their, what, snout is? Okay, here we go. This is, this is it. I can feel them breathing on me. This is the team feeding right here. Team feeding, one, two, all right. That's the upper level difficulty. Look, I know there might be a lot of animal lovers that might say don't ride the elephants, but I figure they're hungry, so that's why I'm feeding them. You know, look, he's hungry. Look how much he enjoys these. And they have to get fed, and I pay to feed him. This is almost like when we went walking a llama. We paid to walk other people's llamas in Yorba Linda, California. I love these elephants. Can I have one? I don't think I can. Hi, elephant. It's empty. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you'll enjoy watching some of our other videos from Bangkok, Thailand. You'll find links in the description below, or you can click either one of these to watch more of those videos from Bangkok, Thailand. Well, we won't say goodbye because we'll see you in the next video.